In this video, we're going to start to refactor our code and have sorter serve as a parent class to numbers, characters, and linked list. To get started, we're just going to focus on numbers collection by itself. So let's set up sorter as a parent class to numbers collection. One other quick thing here, don't forget, right now our sorter has the sort method, and the sort method has some code that expects to operate on some collection property. There is not going to be any more collection property because we are picturing that with inheritance, that sort method will kind of be copy pasted directly onto numbers collection. So sort can refer to this.swap, this.compare, and this.length. All right, so let's get to it. I'm inside of my numbers collection.ts file. To get started, I'm going to import sorter at the very top. And then remember to set up inheritance, all we have to do is find our class definition and add on extends sorter. Right away, we get a little error message right here. If we hover over it, we get an error about some super call. Remember, anytime that we have a class inside of TypeScript that inherits from another, the child, which in this case is numbers collection, has to call the super function inside the constructor. Excuse me, inside the constructor. There we go. Like so. The super function right here is a reference to the constructor of the parent class, which in this case is sorter. Sorter might have a constructor inside of it that has some really important setup code. So by calling super right here, we are running the constructor on the parent class and making sure that that setup code gets executed. Now in this case, our sorter doesn't really have any super important setup code, but this is the system we are required to do anyways, just in case you and I ever forget to do it. TypeScript says, you know what, no matter what, you have to call super. Now, even now we still got an error around this. So if I hover over it, it says that we are expected to provide one argument. So of course, yep, our constructor on sorter, while it doesn't have any important initialization logic, we are required to pass in the collection that we want to sort. Remember, we don't care about collection anymore. We did before only because we wanted to instantiate sorter as its own object and pass in the collection we wanted to sort. But now we are doing things differently and we are trying to imagine that numbers collection is going to get copy pasted down that sort method like so. Now that part I've repeated like three times now in the last five minutes because it's really important for you to understand. So I just want to reiterate one more time why that's so important. Okay, so we are imagining here that by having sorter serve as the parent class, we are picturing that sorter gets copy pasted down into numbers collection like this. We are picturing that. That's not like quite what is happening. We're just imagining this is what is going to happen. And so inside of our sort method, rather than operating on this.collection, because there is not going to be any more this.collection, our sort method would just refer to this.length. So that would be the length getter that we defined right here. Likewise, this.collection would turn into this.compare. And that would be a reference to compare that we did find right here. And this.collection would be this.swap, which is that swap right there. So again, that is what we are picturing, but it is not what is quite happening. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that sort method because again, I just want you to really keep that in mind very closely because that's gonna be extremely important in just a second. All right, so now that we understand that, let's go back over to our sorter and we're gonna to start to refactor it to remove that reference to the collection and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so now back inside of sorter, we don't need any collection anymore, which means we don't even need our entire constructor. So we're gonna just delete the constructor like so. And then like I just said two seconds ago, there is no more collection. So now we're going to remove all the this.collections inside of here. So we're gonna turn it into just this, just this.compare and this.swap. And then right away, we're gonna see some error messages. So this right here is a real interesting problem. Hover over these error messages. Let's take this one right here. It says property compared that does not exist on type sorter. Now this is simultaneously surprising and not surprising. Let me tell you why it is surprising and not surprising, both reasons. So the reason that this is surprising is that you and I have now just discussed that we are not going to ever instantiate sorter directly. Remember, that's the entire point of the refactor we are doing here. Having to create an instance of the sorter is super awkward. 
And so we just want to use sorter as a parent class that we can inherit from. That's the only reason we have sorter now. Sorter is supposed to be some like canonical implementation of the sort method that we don't want to have to rewrite over and over and over again. So we just want to take this sort method and copy paste it down to these child classes. We never ever expect to instantiate sorter directly. So you and I know very well that when we take sorter and we try to extend it on, or excuse me, when we try to extend some child class with sorter, there will be a compare, a swap, and a length property available. Numbers collection has length, it has compare, and it has swap. So you and I know that the only ever place that we're going to use sorter is going to have those properties defined. The issue here is that TypeScript doesn't know that. You and I know that this is the only place we're going to use sorter, but TypeScript doesn't have any indication of that whatsoever. TypeScript is trying to analyze this class in isolation. It's trying to look at this block of code and say, okay, uh, let's see, let's look at the sort method. Inside there, they've got a reference to something called this.compare. All right, well, does this class have a method called compare? Nope, sure doesn't. Okay, mark that as an error. It's then going to look at this.swap. Is there a swap property here? Nope, okay, mark it as an error. So even though you and I know that we're never going to instantiate this directly, we're only ever going to use it as a parent class. And once we do, there will be a length compare and swap method available, but TypeScript just plain doesn't know that. So to fix this problem and help TypeScript understand that, hey, it's okay that these methods aren't defined here, we have to add in a little bit more code to our class. So let's take a quick pause right here. We're going to come back in the next video and talk about exactly how we're going to solve this problem.